Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. So you just saw some videos. I'm not quite sure. Give me some thumbs up or comments if you were able to hear the videos. You know, sometimes when you're trying new technology, I couldn't hear sound on the video, so I'm not sure if it's because, you know, we're like kind of hosting on here or if we've got a technology glitch with the platform that we're using to come to you today. So let us know if you heard the videos, if you were able to hear sound so that um, we know on our end too. Those were three great commercials, if you will, from our sponsors today and our guest. Um, so, which is Next Tech, and it looks like there was no sound on those. So, we apologize for that, Let, you know, technology glitch number one, and we're here with definitely some technology experts today, um, but it was our platform, we use StreamYard, so we're going to be figuring that out. <laughs> and we'll post links for all three of these videos um, in the post following this, so that way you can go back and watch them. Um, great information there on what's happening with, you know, cloud phone, and then it looked like um, Next Tech was thanking everyone through this crazy time that we're all in right now with COVID-19, and I think that we're all working towards what it looks like to rebound and recover moving forward. So, with that, um, again, I want to thank our sponsors. This is an exciting um, time for us. With We've been doing, this is our 10th week doing these Monday chamber chats um, live at two o'clock. So who knew that as a chamber, we would be pivoting and doing some kind of media here. So it's been fun. And Next Tech has always been a great partner of the Great Bend Chamber of Commerce. And it just made sense for us to connect on this. You know, they're working hard to deliver communication, uh, telecommunications to this area in the way of broadband and telephone service and everything in between. And we are in the business of communicating with our members. So it made sense for them to partner up with this. And because of that, every third Monday of every month, Next Tech will actually be our guest for the Chamber Chats on Mondays. And just to give us an update on, you know, what's happening with Next Tech in the world of communication and new offerings for customers, um, new products that are coming to the area um, and with advancements and such. So we want your questions. So if you have questions on anything communications related, and as we're, you're listening and learning more today, put those in the comments. We can see everyone's live comments, and we got some experts on here today to help us answer those questions. So first, I want to welcome Dustin Schleifley on here with me. Dustin is out of the Hayes office. Hi, Dustin. Hey, guys. How are you? Good. How about yourself, sir? Fantastic. Wonderful. Well, I was just telling everyone that, so you're the director of customer engagement, correct? Correct. Yes. What, what does that mean? Uh, so basically, uh, in a fancy term, marketing and PR. Uh, so I have all of our marketing and advertising teams, and then I lead also uh, all of our 15 offices, the retail staff as well, too. Awesome. So you're a busy guy. Yeah, sometimes. And it's actually, it, I'm actually back in my office today. It's actually uh, good to be back in my turf. I've been at home for about six weeks, so it's good to be back in, in the location. Yeah. So let me ask you, because we've been adjusting to getting back in the office too. So I find myself doing part-time at home and part-time here in the office because I don't know, I don't know about you, but I liked some of that time at home because I could just focus and hone in on certain things. <laughs> it is nice. And I was actually the first probably week or so I was actually here in the office, but our office here in Hayes is kind of a, all of the marketing and advertising team and part of the sales team is in one part of the building and we have them all working remotely. So I was the only one here. So I really kind of thought all by myself in this big, <laughs> dark building. So I did right. go, at least I had the company, my dog with me when I was at home. So <laughs> Right, exactly. So before we dive into some of the topics we want to talk about today, tell us how Next Tech has responded through this whole pandemic and some of the challenges that you know people brought to you and how you were able to connect the dots for people. Uh, well, really right off the bat, uh, two of the biggest things that we are tackled were one, um, all of the customers that we deal with um, wanting to start sending their employees working from home. So really figuring out work from home solutions, Microsoft Teams, cloud phone solutions, 
all of that to try to get their employees working remotely. Um, and you know, I feel like we really didn't miss a beat. Uh, for the most part, we were able to help a lot of businesses get those uh, customers out there. The second piece of that that we really worked hard on early on uh, with the uh, continuous learning environment, you know, that the yeah. governor closed down the schools, really trying to make broadband available to those families that hadn't been able to afford it in the past. So we actually, at the peak of that time point, we actually had almost 135, I think is what the number was, um, families that we provided broadband to throughout that. So we were very happy to be able to do yeah. that. Again, that took a lot of time and effort for our techs and, you know, making sure they were safe going into those houses and making those connections and doing all that. But we were glad we were able to do that for customers. Yeah, no, and we thank you. I mean, I know you helped people in Great Bend and worked closely with USD 428. And that was an amazing service and so needed, you know, during this time. And I know everybody, whether you have had internet service or not, everybody was experiencing kind of just this chaos of like everybody on us at the same time, you know, exactly. and I re kind of like laughed myself. I, of course, we have internet service at home through Next Tech, and I called this it's like, well, I might as well go ahead and up mine too. And they said, well, Megan, you're already at the max. And I said, <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> you know, so, and then I learned of some other, you know, gadgets that just help reinforce what you already have. So, you know, there's always a solution to just help, but yeah, some of it, there was just, I feel like was probably challenging for you guys. Cause some of it, there's only so much you can do when so much of the population was relying on it in that window of time and still, I suppose. Yeah, and we're still seeing uh, peak usage, but you know, for the most part, I mean, our network is solid. Uh, we haven't yes. seen any major hiccups or challenge that, the, that we've seen. So, you know, yeah. hopefully everything continues to go smooth with that. So, cause I'm yeah. sure, you know, even for the weeks and months and probably years to come, I really think this is probably one of the things that we're gonna see over time that's gonna see a shift in how people people operate their business. They may have more remote workers now. They may see mm -hmm. some cost savings and different things. So it may it's probably gonna be something we're gonna deal with more often from here on out, so. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree. I think whether it's remote working or virtual learning, you know, I think across the, you're absolutely right. And if anything, it has shown those businesses that and education sectors that it can be done Exactly. And it can be done successfully. And it's, you know, obviously the infrastructure of the connectivity is the main factor behind that. So I mean, for a simple thing, I mean, even like uh, at Next Tech, we probably had a, at the peak, we probably had 165 or so employees working remotely. All of our help desk is still working remotely. Oh, wow. And at one point we had almost probably a third, no, actually probably two thirds of our customer sales staff uh, working remotely and, you know, working from their dining room table, helping yes. customers. And, you know, realistically, for the most part, nobody probably ever knew that they were working. No, people, so. uh -uh. no not at all. And you're right. It is. I, I was at my dining room table and my daughter was doing high school work on the other end of the dining room table. So <laughs> exactly. you know, that was, that was life for a bit. So I don't think it's something any of us will soon forget. That is for sure. Exactly. So what else has Next Tech been up to besides keeping us all connected? <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about our fiber project. We seem to get yes. a lot of questions on that and just let me update everybody. So just to do a quick recap of where we're at. So um, about the last three or four years, we have really been putting a lot of emphasis on fiber construction in Great Bend. Most of that has been primarily uh, geared towards the business market, kind of, you know, through the downtown and then the 10th Street market. So one of the really big things that happened really last summer is we were able to work with the school and we were able, last summer we connected all of the schools in Great Bend uh, onto our fiber network. And then that really opened up a big opportunity for us in Great Bend to a fiber expansion to uh, the residential neighborhoods. So we did launch that initiative last uh, summer that we were planning on building uh, to the residential neighborhoods in Great Bend. We could get uh, kind of that 50% uh, market in each one of those neighborhoods. So Bissell's Point was really the first one uh, to reach that, which was phenomenal because quite honestly, Bissell's Point wasn't actually one of the neighborhoods we had uh, originally projected or even put in really? the market. Yeah, yeah, so we started getting all this interest out there um, and they hit the threshold very easily. So we did start construction out there um, in April. Uh, you know, it had been kind of cool to be able to do a big ribbon cutting or something with the chamber, but- <laughs> right. That, with the time we're in, we couldn't do that. So exactly, we have a bunch of ribbon cuttings on hold right now. 
<laughs> so we did start that and it's going well out there. Uh, our projection is we'll be done with construction in June. And wow. then the process of actually hooking up the customers will start in July. So that really doesn't take that long. Uh, well, the nice thing about that area, it's a little bit more open area, um, allows for a little bit easier construction. Sure. Okay. Okay. Um, construction will take longer in some of the more dense neighborhoods where there's a lot of landscaping and uh, when there's not so much alleys and easement and stuff like that, it'll you know, take a little bit longer in those areas. But um, here just last week, we were also able to announce that uh, Twin Lakes will be our second neighborhood that we will start building in, which we're very excited about that. Uh, which will actually be what we're calling zone A on our map, uh, which will be uh, the neighborhood uh, portion above 24th Street and then to the neighborhood below 24th Street out there as well, because uh, some of it's not built out there, it's open lot. Sure. Uh, so we'll put fiber in the ground out there. Um, hopefully our plan is to start late summer with that. And then maybe by, you know, probably late fall, I'm guessing, hopefully we can start to actually get some customers activated out there. So, right. and again, I would just encourage anybody, uh, if you are interested, if you do live in uh, either one of those areas, uh, be sure and let us know if you are interested. The one thing we like to get people to show their interest if they really do want it, because if we have to go back later, um, it takes more time and it could prolong you getting your service actually activated. So I'd encourage you to get out there and sign up. Um, and then, you know, uh, we're really hoping that, you know, we could do two or three neighborhoods a year um, from yes. here on out. So. Yeah. Um, you know, it's probably going to take, you know, three to four years to get the entire town uh, built as a whole. But, you know, we're very excited about being in Great Bend. You know, we've been offering services down there since early 2000s. So um, we feel like we're, we're a staple in the Great Bend market now. So Ab Absolutely, you are. So, Dustin, for those of us who aren't necessarily super techie or whatever, and, you know, like, whether it's my vehicle or my computer or my Internet, we just we just if you're me, you just want to push a button or turn the key mm -hmm. and it works. You're not really thinking about where it's coming from or what's making what's making it work. So why why fiber? Why do we want fiber? What what is how is it different than what we currently have? Um, one of the uh, the big things about fiber is its scalability for one, um, and it's really you know there to last for a long time. The scalability of the fiber as well too. You know, starting with a 100 meg connection, we can do uh, gigs of connection in the future. I mean, nobody realistically, probably from a residential standpoint, needs a gig at their home at this point in time. But, you know, the scalability of long term being able to provide that the bandwidth as we grow over time and there's more 4K video and all that stuff coming on. That being one piece of it. Uh, the other nice thing about fiber and the fiber technology is that it's a dedicated connection to you and your home. Um, some of the other technologies out there, shared bandwidth. Um, so it could be if you're building, uh, if you're sharing one dedicated fiber to a neighborhood, you're sharing that bandwidth. Uh, but we will have dedicated access to customers as well, too. So that that's a big thing as well, too. And just making sure that, you know, as we all know from working from home to kids doing schoolwork at home, as we continue to watch more video, um, that all eats bandwidth and takes bandwidth. So And that's going to continue to grow from years on, from here on out. Um, we're going to get see more video and higher um, uh, bandwidth usage because of that video. Right, right. So with the change to fiber, what does what does me as the consumer see or notice in terms of equipment or um, installation? You know, like right now I have my router, you know, that sits at home. Um, is there still routers when you have fiber? Yes. Uh, so really for the most part, the inside technology will not ch change a lot. Uh, we use, it's called a Calyx router, uh, which is the brand that we use, but that router is actually in the house, um, which will basically broadcast the Wi-Fi signal in your house. Other than that, so basically what happens when your fiber goes into your neighborhood, let's say, let's say we're doing alley construction, the, the main line is in the alley there's a drop, which is basically the piece of fiber that comes off the main line that goes to your house. So typically we try to put that drop to a location that's central, most likely on the outside of your house, you have a box now where your telephone service or your cable television service could be mm -hmm. coming in. We try to centralize that box there, which is a NID we put on the outside of the house. That drop comes to the NID. 
uh, and that's where the fiber actually goes into your house. Um, something a little bit different that we've started using over the, the last couple of years is called an, in, uh, an inside ONT. So basically the technology that basically runs the fiber uh, really is hosted inside your house. It does have to plug into an electrical outlet. So the fiber is fed through there and then that basically uh, the devices or the router connects to that device inside your house and then broadcasts the signal. Okay. Awesome. It is complex, but we try to make it as simple but, as possible for customers. Right. So I can just fire up my computer and I've got internet. <laughs> but for it the, is. I think for the, for the end user, we hope that really, I mean, we want the experience to be better because the service will be faster on fiber than we can currently offer in most areas today on the wireless service that we're providing in most of Great Bend. Um, but for the most part, the experience of connecting to the internet uh, should not really be a lot different. Um, it, but the connection will be a lot faster. Gotcha. Okay. So if if those listening, whether it's right now or later, want to get signed up or put their interest in, um, uh -huh. where where do they need to go do that at? Um, they can go to the main Next Tech site, um, nex-tech.com. There's a link to the Great Bend um, information there, or they can call the local Great Bend store um, or walk in. Uh, we did actually just uh, this week, our stores were actually open up the last two weeks, kind of on a limited basis. They are somewhat limited now. They're open nine to four, um, but we were doing kind of a one in, one out, but the doors are open now. So okay. we're able to help customers and take care of them pretty much on a normal basis now. Okay, great. So yeah, we'll have that website posted um, on the in the comments and above the post here so that people can easily click on that and just go um, make it easy for people. And then we'll put the phone number up as well for that. Okay, fantastic. So, good deal. Well, anything else on fiber? Uh, for the most part, I think that's it. Uh, you know, some of the other areas, if you kind of look, um, you know, kind of north of 24th Street seems to uh -huh. be kind of a popular area. I mean, that's the one kind of cool thing about the map out there that we have posted on the Great Bend site. You can kind of see where the, the hot topics are as far as interest and people um, really showing their interest. So we are getting ready to do some more direct mail and marketing. Um, so again, please, if you are interested, I would encourage you to get out there and hopefully you'll be yes. in the next neighborhood selected. So definitely. And I, I always do this to her. So she's going to, I'm going to make her palms start sweating, but Leanne, <laughs> is that something we can pull up on the screen here where we can just show them right on the website? If we can, um, <clears throat> Luckily, I'm upstairs and I can't hear her griping me out right now from downstairs as I'm like, hey, just pull this website up. <laughs> Look at her. She's so quick. Okay. So this is your nex-tech.com. Is that right? <laughs> Click on that learn more button right there. So while while she's kicking that up there going, we've yep. had um, we were on customer service with Next Tech last week because we didn't realize that. And again, those of us that just don't think of these things and know it, you just have you have an Internet and you just think you have it and it goes. Everything's the same. Well, uh -huh. we have Internet here and we have different offices that rent space. But obviously we're experiencing you know, bandwidth, just like everyone else, but realized that we were only paying for 10, 10 megs. Oh. I think that's saying that right. And yep. it's like, oh, we should, let's beef that up a lot. And so <laughs> we were, I was, it was like this major aha moment. Like, gosh, why didn't we think of looking at what we were, you know, our service even was. <laughs> so, um, okay. So she clicked on learn more. Is that where we're at here? If you'll just scroll down a little bit, it'll actually take you to the map. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's cool. It shows you the zones and then I see percentages. Yep. Is that? So the green one up to the top actually shows that that's in the construction phase. Of course, that's Bissell's Point. Okay. And zone A, which is the one in red, uh, which is the Twin Lakes area, um, which basically says that's in the pre-construction area. And then you can kind of see kind of the percents of those other, like the, the zone B and uh, D or two of the higher ones as well too. Right. We're sitting at the 38% marker. 
So if you're sitting in some of those low ones, you should be out campaigning to your neighbors <laughs> is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Let's get this going, people. <laughs> and the thing, that I, the thing that I will mention too, Megan, just so everybody's aware, uh, you know, we were kind of looking for that uh, around the 50% marker, but we found out quickly, especially uh, like looking at Bissell's Point, once we actually uh, said that we are kicking off the project, people people tend to hold on a little bit till they really know what's going to happen. So we, we right. saw the, marker, the ticker go up a little bit when we said yes. Um, so we've seen about a 10% uptick already in, in Bissell's Point since we started construction. Um, Interesting. And, and, you know, Twin Lakes didn't quite hit the 50% marker, um, but I'm pretty confident that um, when people start hearing um, the stories and some of the right. testimonials and the great service that they're going to see, um, I think we'll start to see the mark. Uh, rise on those as well too. Isn't that interesting how we respond to things as humans? Yes. You know, like you tell us something and it sounds good and we're like, but, <laughs> but is it, Dustin? Complacent. Is it going to be here? I feel like you're teasing me, you know, until you say, okay, yes, we're diggy. And then they're like, oh, okay, yeah. put my name in. <laughs> And, you know, that's the cool thing. We've actually seen that. We've been doing fiber technology since 1996, and we've seen that in lots of our fiber overbuilds in the past. As you know, you can market and market and market. Yeah. When people actually see the construction starting, it draw it creates momentum, and people yes. are more excited about it. Right, right. No, that's awesome. And we, yeah, we're definitely excited. I just, you know with more and more people like, well, we already said it working from home, but mm -hmm. then just, you know, we have a lot of, I feel like out here in this area, a lot of um, entrepreneurs who, who were already working from home, but a huge, like even more, I just feel like out in this area, you know, just a lot of at home businesses and just so the economy relies on that. And so thank you guys for, you know, just staying on the edge of that and bringing that all to us. Well, thank so. you guys for always being a big supporter of us. So we appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I know that you've got a couple other Next Tech friends with you here today. Do, do you want to, yeah. Do you want to introduce them? Uh, yeah. We have uh, Rick uh, Taylor and Shannon Rothschild, both from the sales team. And they want to share just a little bit of information with you about our Tech Edge conference that's coming up in June. And I'm not going to steal their thunder, so I'll let them talk. Perfect. And I think we've got a video. Yes, correct. About Tech Edge. Hopefully there's sound. We'll see if there's sound. <laughs> I don't know if you remember this older technology. This is what we used to get to the moon. Maybe we have this technology with a solid 700K of information, or even potentially this. No, it's not just a save icon. It actually held data. In fact, it held a lot of my college career on it. But now we generate this much data every minute. We're going to take you on a tour of technology from the past, the present, and into the future on how technology and your business can work together to improve its future. That's Tech Ed from Next Tech. And the best part, it's free. Yep. Free, free. So put it on your calendar. Then go to nexttech.com and register June 18th. Sign up. I love Tech Edge. I have been to Tech Edge twice in the past two years. And it is such a cool experience. Just as, I mean, so part of me, like I'm sad that there's not a physical Tech Edge, but I'm excited that there's still something coming because I felt like there's there was always classes and something for everyone. And even though I outed myself and said I'm not super techy, you there were classes and offerings there at Tech Edge for those of us in like the marketing side of things and with communication. So as a I love Tech Edge. So tell us what we can expect this year. Rick, Shannon, welcome. Thanks for hopping on here. You bet. Thanks, Megan. And and I want to thank everybody for joining us today. Um, yeah, Tech Edge is, is an event that we've been, Next Tech has been putting on for about the last six years. Um, this year, we will bring it, be bringing it to you virtually. Um, and uh, um, it, it's a one day technology, technology event. And uh, this year, we're just going to do it um, virtually from 8 30 a.m. to noon um, so that, that you know, people don't want to sit in front of their computers for hours um, but still it is is jam-packed full of great content and uh, as you heard it is free actually it's free free 
So um, we expect, we've had a lot of people sign up already and we expect as time goes, we'll have a lot more people sign up for it. Um, traditionally, we've held it either in Hayes or Salina. So for the, the folks that could not get away from their business um, for the whole day, this is an opportunity that, that Great Bend, Salina, Hutch, anybody that's outside of Hayes or Salina, an opportunity to join Tech Ed, see what it's all about and, um, and be a part of it. So um, yeah, we have an awesome keynote this year is Eric Townsend, who is um, he's the director of marketing for the Intel Corporation. Um, he's going to share with us ways to compete in this digital economy. So uh, it's going to be a great event. Um, look forward to hearing Eric and what he has for us. I'm excited about it. So very much looking forward to it. Uh, new for us is virtually. Um, so I, I, think it'll go, uh, I think it'll go very well. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I had to kind of laugh watching the little promo video there with the flappy disks and everything because it made me think of playing Oregon Trail in grade school. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what those were all on. That's what we were all on, yep, yep. So. <laughs> now we've moved to smaller um, storage devices for gigs and, and um, just a tremendous amount of data and just something that you can carry in your pockets. So technology continues to change. And that's what tech is all about, bringing all the latest great technology to the forefront for our customers and friends and clients to see. So, um, again, we're looking forward to a great turnout in this year. Um, I know for, for next tech, and to most everybody that's on this call and, and businesses, um, we, because of the virus, we've had to change ways we do business. And, and we've gone more to a digital format. I know. For the last two months, I've done more video calls and more um, um, com conference calls over the last two months than my years of, of doing um, business sales reps. So it is um, it's the, the technology, fortunately, we have it. We can still uh, um, work with our customers and be able to provide products and services through that. that well, medium. I am pulling for somebody to figure out zoom has has it but let's it's not really what i'm what i'm wanting but for somebody to figure out how to put cool filters on here so that way it makes everything look perfect <laughs> you know like like snapchat facebook messenger has the filters and i know that zoom has a they have a feature that says something about imperfect, I don't remember what it's even called. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> we, uh, we, internally, we use um, Teams, uh, Microsoft Teams, and that's one of the, the breakout sessions through TechEdge is to learn about, about Teams and video conferencing. And uh, so with Teams, we can do backgrounds, maybe camera zoom, yes. so we can zoom a whole lot, but we can do the background, so I can actually look like I'm sitting on the beach. As I'm doing right. video, but, but uh, yeah, the technology's there and continues to, to grow and like it allows us to do business virtually from anywhere, so. Right. Well, and where are you two located? Rick, I know you're here in Great Bend. Shannon, where are you located? Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm actually up in Smith Center this afternoon, working from my home, as you can see. <laughs> that's, again, that's what we're all, well, I'm in my office, but yeah, that's, um, so you both work, with business to businesses and just out connecting everyone. Um, I'm assuming with, you know, whether it's telephone service, internet, correct. probably Tele other things. <laughs> well, you're correct at one point. We usually are out <laughs> right. business to business, but since the <laughs> second week in March, I've actually been right here in my home. But right here. As Rick, as Rick mentioned, you know, we've really adapted well and to some extent adopted well using video conferencing, um, both internally and with the business to business customers that we work with. I, I've always known the technology was there and I've used it on a limited basis, but this has forced us to begin to use it on a daily basis and yes. it's been quite successful for us. So, uh, and like Rick mentioned, for those of you who may not be familiar with what Microsoft Teams is and what it's all about, there is gonna be a breakout session 
uh, one of the eight Tech Edge breakout sessions we're going to be using and talking about Microsoft Teams and how it can help improve, maybe improve communication within your business. Perfect. No, I'm looking forward to that one because, yeah, I've I've seen it and I've used it to, to just watch a couple webinars that were hosted by other organizations, but we haven't started using it here internally. I actually just discovered yesterday by accident that Facebook just released um, Rooms. Yep. So that's something. And so I wanted to play with that. And so, you know, my office is upstairs, but there's sometimes I just want to look at Angie and Leanne's face as I'm talking to something. And I was able to invite them to my Facebook room, which sounds kind of creepy and weird a little bit, like come, come into yeah. my room. <laughs> yeah. um, but then they were right there on my phone and I could just ask them quickly. We were able to just like catch up on a couple things and um, keep doing what we were doing. So it just blows my mind, you know, how quick all of this goes. And I think that's what's so fun about Next Tech or with Tech Edge is that whether it's Microsoft Teams or any, um, the, the rocket book, I remember a couple years ago, I took home a rocket book that they were given out. Like, you know, you hear about these things, but sometimes you don't take the time to slow down and learn more about them. So Tech Edge is just a great way to just like, okay, here's 45 minutes. We're going to learn what this is and see if I can apply it to my business life. Yeah, that's right. That's correct. We're going to still do that this year, though it's a virtual event. Like yeah. I mentioned, we have, we have the eight sessions, and we're going to do – two sessions concurrently at four different time periods. So you have to make a choice there for those four different time periods, which oh. session you want to join. Man, but, me. <laughs> but the cool thing is this year, because it's virtual, it'll be recorded and you can go back later and watch the one that you missed. So Perfect. that's going to be a, a benefit as well. Yeah. And we're going to, we're going to have topics around um, cloud phone. Obviously we mentioned the Microsoft teams, we're going to have talk topics around marketing and specifically digital marketing. So using, you know, your Facebook, your Snapchat, taking it to the next level. Uh, we're, we have some really, really skilled people within Nix Tech that know how to use that technology really well. So I think that'll be worth your time. And then also yes. obviously we're, we're going to talk about network security, uh, why it's important to your business and those sorts of things. And we're also going to have a session talking about some new solutions that we're um, just opening up uh, to offer for our business customers from Nixtech. So it's going to be a jam-packed morning. And as Mitch, as Rick mentioned, having somebody from Intel uh, with us live is going to be an exciting time as well. Yeah, that'll be that'll be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. And I think that is so great with those different topics. You know, like even just here at the chamber, we can div divide and conquer and and just really st strengthen and take away so many little bits of information and ideas and that's what it's all about and I think that's just man what a prime opportunity to still be doing tech edge because you know I mean even just over this time of quarantine I have downloaded TikTok so I'm trying to figure out what the heck TikTok is, <laughs> you know but I'm learning that there's ways to you know leverage your business on there as well you know it's just a different way of thinking and so I mean yeah, the digital age is crazy right now. It is near upon us, and as, as Shannon had mentioned, um, some of the, the breakout sessions, one of those is how to keep your customers engaged virtually. So um, there's a, a whole list. The, the, the list, if you go to next-tech.com and sign up, you can, you can view the list of, of uh, breakout sessions. Um, what That event, is, we're going to be holding it on June 18th, like I said, 8.30 to noon, um, we're going to give away $1,000 in gift cards. So wow. a, a gift card for each session. So you want to definitely register. Again, it's free. So anybody that would like to, to be a part of, get a, get a good view of what it's all about, mm -hmm. would suggest the next step, step .com and register or Tech Edge. We're looking forward to it. Awesome. We've got the link posted up here in the comments and we'll make sure it's up top as well and easy to access. But yeah, that's definitely always an event I look forward to and equally excited for it this year. So thank you guys for continuing that because it's definitely needed right now. And Shannon, actually, our very own Shannon is going to talk about threat landscape. And, and so he has, is, is providing... Um, 
a breakout session on the, the your profile and the threat landscape. So um, I think Shannon is going to talk to us a little bit about that today. Awesome. Well, I just wanted to uh, mention that even though technology changes and it changes rapidly and we're experiencing that at a rapid pace right now because of what we're experiencing around the world, the bad guys aren't going away. No. Um, and in fact, the bad guys are adapting to what they do as well in these rapid changing times and they're kind of changing their approach. Yes. And so I'm going to, I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about what the bad guys are doing now and how that can impact you directly personally, as well as for your business. And hopefully share with some, some insight that we know that they may or may not know and, and help them improve uh, their productivity as well as their security, uh, both at home and at work. Yeah, absolutely. I've read several different things just through all of this where they have figured out new ways and, you know, to lurch into your lives basically. So, um, so Microsoft Teams, are there any Zoom bombers popping into Microsoft Teams? <laughs> none, none that I'm aware of or heard of. Good, um, good. <laughs> doesn't mean it's not happening, but I, I've, I've yet to read any stories of anybody drawing anything on their screen that shouldn't be there. So right. that's a good thing. Right, <clears throat> right. I know. I don't know, if you heard, I don't know if you heard that story or not, but there was a school somewhere in the U.S. where they're having a class and hacker got in and was drawing inappropriate pictures on the screen. Yeah, it's been. I've, our, we've experienced it here in Great Bend. I, we haven't as a chamber, but I know the other organizations that have. And so we immediately went in and did what we needed to to lock down Zoom, you know, just what they have a checklist of things. But, but yeah, they're always just, it seems like, at times a few steps ahead of us and figuring yeah. out, you know, if their minds just work a twisted different way than ours do. <laughs> um, That's so, right. Yeah, I thank you guys for just e helping equip everyone with knowledge and a little bit of armor to protect us as we, you know, because even as we're on more than so are our children, you know, at home, yeah. Um, yeah. just like you said with the school teacher, so. Right. And we'll also talk a little bit about incident response because we've, you know, we've learned um, through the process of, of what we can and maybe we should or shouldn't do if there is an incident. So we're going to talk a little bit about that as well. Oh, good. Uh, during the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, I think that'll be great. It sounds like there's a whole plethora. I will be getting our, our team signed up this afternoon, probably as soon as we're done here and we'll make sure to get the word out to our members, of course. And um, I think since we'll, since we'll be doing these for the next, um, or well, on the third Mondays going forward, I think it'll be good to have some conversation even after the event, looking back on Tech Edge on some of the takeaways that we got. Sure, so, I think that's a good, it's a great idea. If Lacey's listening, I'm throwing an idea out for, <laughs> we could talk about, because I'm sure I'll have a list of things. I'm a note taker, and so I'll have all kinds of things I want to follow up on. <laughs> so, well, Rick, Shannon, thank you guys so much from coming to us from your homes, or Rick, where are you at? Are you at home or are you at the office? I am at home. Okay, all right. We're in a, a bedroom that we were just, working on the refinish and it's half finished so um yes i'm coming to you live yeah. from my half finished <laughs> <laughs> right right well you know the walls are up i taught my daughter uh, we had a meeting with her teacher the other day on her chromebook and he was down in his basement and like like it, he was so funny he was like i look like a, the weird guy sitting down in the unfinished <laughs> room and you can see the rafters <laughs> but it was the only quiet space in the house because he's got littles upstairs <laughs> so, yep. you know it's it's real life right now <laughs> so okay well we will let you guys get back to your days and look forward to tech edge and just thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day and for being such a great partner to everyone here and Great Bend and Barton County. Thank you, Megan. We appreciate Megan, we appreciate we appreciate yep. the opportunity to be here. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Have a great afternoon. You do the same. Thank you.
We at Next Tech want to thank you. We thank essential workers for all you're doing. We thank you for working hard to parent and teach from home. We thank you for adjusting so quickly to working from home. We want to thank you for keeping our essential workers safe. And we thank you for being our customer. We know these are unprecedented times. And we want you to know that we are still here for you. We are providing critical support to essential businesses. We're helping ensure every child can learn from home. We're supporting you on the phone, online, or even by email. And finally, we want you to know that we are in this together. 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 We are all in this together. Next Tech Cloud Phone Systems are great for small business. Top five reasons why? They're cost effective, reliable, scalable, secure, and mobile. Simply put, you get freedom and savings. Think about it. Now's the time because when you sign a qualifying cloud phone contract, you get a free 55 inch TV, three months of Next Tech TV Now, and access to exclusive deals from Next Tech Wireless. Call and ask about Cloud Phone Systems today.